everybody, it's Leslie from Discovery Fabrics and today I'm going to talk a little bit about absorbent fabrics. Now uh, one of the reasons that you would be potentially interested in fabric absorbency is if you're one of these people that are making either incontinence panties or period panties or uh, diaper inset, uh, inserts for babies. So um, there's also some other things that can be made with them and I wanted to explain those to you as well. But before we go any further, I just wanted to introduce you to a couple of super absorbent fabrics um, and what they would be good for. So I actually have not tested um, every absorbent uh, combination or fabric that you can get. A lot of people use, for example, organic cottons or organic 100% bamboo, that kind of thing when they're making diapers or uh, period panties. Um, but what I have tested is the bamboo cotton fleece that we sell here at Discovery Fabrics. Um, this is just a really high quality fleece that you would normally be making really comfortable jogging pants or towel pullovers, that kind of thing. But it does have a pretty high absorbency rate. So I included it in my testing. Um, one of the other fabrics that I am testing today is Zorb. Zorb is made in the US. Um, it's a, a very popular absorbent fabric that is used a lot in the diapering trade for reusable diapers. And it's about a sixteenth of an inch thick when it's not wet. I also got a sample from the Zorb company, which we don't sell here, but I did test. And it's an absorbent microfiber that they sell. Um, and I tested that as well. And then the other one that I tested is a brand new fabric to us. It's called Hypercool. And uh, while Hypercool, its main function is um, actually to cool in cooling vests. Um, it's actually in a uh, fabric that you would wear inside other fabrics, like inside um, as an almost like a cooling insulation. And it keeps you cool basically all day when it's wet. Um, but it does actually have another application we think in diapering or particularly in period panties or incontinence panties. And the reason why um, we say this is because it is a, a super absorbent fabric as I'm going to show you here, but also the only time that it will actually act as a cooling fabric if you're making a cooling vest is if um, in an example of this is the hat that I made, you can't see, but it does actually have hypercool inside of it. Um, the inside is waterproof so that the moisture from the hypercool can't get to your head. And the outside is a very breathable stretch um, fabric. And air has to get to hypercool in order for it to create that ev evaporating vapor that is so cool. So in the application of a panty, for example, you would have a waterproof barrier on the outside so that it didn't leak. Um, and I believe that that would make it so that the air can't get to it as well and therefore it wouldn't be uh, chilly to wear. If anything, it might be a tad cooler than if you were using another absorbent fabric, but I think the lack of air getting to that area is probably gonna keep it from getting super cold. So anyway, um, here's what we did. I cut circles of the, the four fabrics. Um, these are actually cut with a special machine we have that measures uh, GSM or uh, grams per square meter. So starting with the Zorb, which is this fabric here, and I said it's about a sixteenth of an inch, we took the Zorb and we put it in water and we weighed it on this little scale before and after so we could tell how much weight of water that it absorbed. Um, Zorb started out at 250 grams per square meter and after we weighed it, it was um, 2560, so basically 10 times its own weight. So Zorb is very absorbent, 10 times its own weight. Uh, when I did put it in the water and pulled it out, it dripped for some time, but that, you know, it did quit dripping after a while. Um, next, I did the bamboo cotton stretch that I said is actually an apparel fabric because bamboo is used a lot and bamboo is quite absorbent. The bamboo was uh, 280 grams per square meter, which is interesting because that's actually the same weight as the Hypercool. And it absorbed five times its own weight. So not bad for a fabric that is not actually intended to be um, used in that application. The next one I did 
was made by Zorb. This is the microfiber, um, almost like a terry. And it was uh, 72 GSM, so very, very lightweight to start. And it absorbed and weighed up to 210 grams, which means it absorbs six times its own weight. So really, the difference between this relatively expensive uh, fabric that's sold by Zorb and is a microfiber and just our bamboo cotton fleece is really nominal. So all the fleece, if you had scraps of the fleece after making an outfit, it actually would be a good absorbent fabric to use for that inner layer. And last but not least, I wanna talk about Hypercool because Hypercool is actually only a 16th of an inch before it's wet. It's basically the same look, a little bit different feel, but the same look as the original Zorb. The Hypercool weighs slightly more than the Zorb. So the Zorb is 250 grams per square meter and the Hypercool is 280 grams per square meter. But look what happens when you soak the Hypercool. The Hypercool is here and it looks like it's about a quarter of an inch wide now. And the Zorb is, well, it actually, I think it's flattened out a little bit. The Zorb probably doubled in width but the Hypercool looks like it is three to four times the width as when it started. And Hypercool absorbs 20 times its own weight. Um, so these two fabrics definitely are not to be used next to skin. They're supposed to be used with, you know, like a waterproof barrier on the outside so they don't leak and a very uh, moisture wicking barrier on the inside so that moisture can enter into the absorbent uh, padding. And as I said, Hypercool is actually designed to create a cooling hat that you would soak and wear all day long to stay cool. Inserts for hard hats, that type of thing. Uh, cooling vests for dogs, cooling vests for people. Um, I've done a whole other video on that and if you have any questions in particular about the cooling benefits of Hypercool, then definitely get in touch with us. Um, but in this application, we just wanna talk about how absorbent they are and the reason that I think it outperformed even the Zorb um, is because it has some polymer construction that's like a super, super absorbent um, composition that really helps with that. So another thing I just noticed is when I'm using like the absorbent terry towel or, or even the uh, bamboo, and after, this has been sitting here for, oh, at least 10 minutes, and you can see it's very wet. Um, don't have actually another paper towel to show you, but I can show you that the Zorb isn't leaving, or the Zorb is, and the Hypercool really aren't leaving much on the table. So they're really holding on much better to the moisture. So both Zorb and Hypercool, in my opinion, would be really good for absorbent layers. Um, I'm only, I don't think anybody is using Hypercool at all as far as an application for what we just suggested for either the incontinence panties, the period panties, or diapers. Um, but um, I actually thought it was a pretty good application simply because it is one of the most absorbent fabrics that I've ever tested. And that's it for now. Um, hope to see you soon in our group, So Inspired by Discovery Fabrics on Facebook. Thanks, bye.